Are you ready for your first story? Okay. All right. Under the oak dome and mahogany floor, the reptiles of Congress held court. Slimy, lizard-like politicians with their cufflinks all uncuffed, collars quaffed, and faces flushed from drinking, stood in disorder, rabbling and arguing, punching with fists over dice and swigging on cheap champagne. Their bloated, frog-like speaker called them to order with his gavel, banging it incessantly until at least half of the unruly mob came to order. We don't have much more here, he slurred through his jowls. Just try and stay. Shut your trap hole, came a yell from the crowd to much jeering and laughter. The speaker again banged his little hammer, but it was drowned out by catcalling, whipping, and pole dancing. Sweat dripped down his saggy forehead as he glanced nervously at their cold-eyed leader, who stood in perfect stillness in the corner of the assembly floor. Mumbling to himself, the speaker said, Yes, maybe it would be better if we all shut our trap holes. Then roaring at the top of his 30 voice, still banging his gavel, he cried, and for the last item of business, of a long line of disappointing items from a long and pointless history of squabbling, arguing, and blah, blah, blahing, the convocation resolves to disbar itself and give all powers to the great leader. The reptiles roared in a chorus of approval and then fell into an uncomfortable silence as their snake-like leader slid forth, smiling calmly from behind cold eyes and spoke. Thank you. You have done your part. One day, your children, or your children's children, if they remember you at all, will remember you as heroes. An awkward and confused applause ensued. He went on. I will not thank you, what thanks should I give, doing only what you had to do, what needed to be done. No, I will not thank you, but say to hell with you, and devil take thy soul, and the people too, say devil take thy soul and good riddance. Smiling, he concluded, you're free now from all responsibilities. Go get drunk. Turning, he left. Ecclesiastical jubilation erupted from the crowd. They were free, they were free. The great tap at the head of the room was turned on and beer poured through the assembly floor. Lizard, frog, and toad laughed at its foamy side. Desks floated like lily pads as the doors were shut and locked and the waters began to rise. The bloat speaker swallowed nervously at the scene, sweat pouring from his brow, a something in his throat that he just couldn't get out. Outside, the crowd covered the earth like a flood, Small mammals and rodents cheered as their great, scaly leader emerged to proclaim an end to that detestable institution, the backlog, the do-nothingness, red tape and fat, and the beginning of a new era. Field mice and squirrels danced in the streets. Parades of chipmunks trumped loudly as their awesome leader reared in front of them, snapping at the air and preening. What big eyes he had and what teeth! Hurrah, hurrah, they cheered as the sun glinted off his great grinning scales, and behind him, the construction crews manned by salamanders and toads were already filling the cracks in the Congress store.